to make some no bake energy balls today, mm -hmm. right, Finn? Uh, yeah. So this is our pretend cooking show. How about that? Okay, yeah. so what you really need in order to make easy no bake energy balls or energy bites, um, really the base are oats. Mm -hmm. I like to use old fashioned oats, but you can use instant, that's okay too. Um, honey and peanut butter. And oh. if you can't have peanut butter, then almond butter um, or substitute works just great. And then a bowl and a spoon to mix. So what Finn and I like to add in, what are you holding? Um, chocolate chips. Chocolate chips. We definitely have Finn's dairy free chocolate chips. Yeah, and we like to put chocolate chips in it, but I'm allergic to dairy, so I have to have dairy. Yeah. Um, dairy free. Dairy free, right. So um, you can also make this recipe gluten-free easily if you look for gluten-free. Um, some other things we really like to add, I like to add a little bit of chia seed and then flax seed. And um, they're just a little itty bitty, they look like this, but they're super healthy for you. And once it sits for a little while, you can't even taste them when they're there. Um, this sometimes, if you put too much, it can get caught in your teeth and stuff. But if you just put a little bit for the health part of it, um, you don't even notice it's there. And then flax seed is really good for you. And so again, if you just put a little bit, you don't even know it's there. So we are going to get started. Um, our recipe we have yummy energy balls, one cup oats, one fourth cup honey, and one fourth cup peanut butter. And this is a smaller batch, but you can um, double these. And then look at you, you'd be doing fractions. What would one fourth double be? Go one fourth plus one fourth would be two fourths, oh. which would be one. Mm. So if you wanted to double it, you could do two cups, one half cup, mm -hmm. one half cup, mm -hmm. and then I have optional add-ins: one tablespoon black seed, one tablespoon chia seed, and chocolate chips. I never really put a measurement on that because we like a little extra. Um, and you also can add a little bit of vanilla extract if you like the taste of that as well. Um, so we'll get started. And we'll have chocolate chips left over if it doesn't eat them all. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do one cup oats. So here is my one cup of oats. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we like oats. So Finn's gonna dump that in. And then we need one fourth cup, Oops. one fourth cup of uh, peanut butter, and then honey. Turn the TV on. Uh, dump it in the honey. Honey on. So we have one cup oats, one fourth cup honey, and one fourth cup peanut butter. So I like to do one tablespoon. Uh, oh, we are dipping it. You can be in the mixer. Chia seed looks like. You might think, what? That looks like bird seed. It does, but I promise as it sits in the liquid with the peanut butter um, and the honey with the moisture. You let it sit a little while and then it softens it. So then I promise it's healthy and you don't taste it. So you get healthy stuff um, without having to use our <laughs> and stuff. And then we have another helper here. She found the chocolate chips. Didn't she, Anna? Yeah, she found She found the chocolate chips. Yeah. Hey, hey, you don't have to eat them at once. About five tablespoons of chocolate chips many ones. If you use two of chocolate chips, um, we refrigerate these and then just when you bite into it, it feels like you're going to break your teeth sometimes. So we use the mini ones to get the chocolate flavor, but not break your teeth of course. Extra 
of fancy stuff. Um, really, if you look up, if you were to Google energy balls or energy bites, there are so many recipes out there. Um, but what I found is as long as you use oats, honey, and peanut butter or almond butter, um, that'll be a good base for you. And then you can put extra stuff and you could even put uh, mini M&Ms are really good in there. Um, I just don't use them all the time for Finn, but I know like said mini M&Ms. And so now, Finn has it mixed up really well. So now what we like to do is take our ice cream scooper and we'll scoop it in and then we'll roll a little ball. Good night. And we'll try it out. And side note, make sure you wash your hands before um, you start cooking or baking anything. Because for these you'll have to touch. This is what it all looks like. Right, Anna? Sure. You want that one? Oh, it does get a little messy and sticky, doesn't it? How is it? Is it good? Highly recommended.